Roger, Echo 1, that watches the end of our 5 9. Thanks, this is Charlie Echo 2. Buzz Stones Airwaves. Hey, this is Buzz checking in with episode number 17 of Airwaves. And in this episode, I'm going to be reviewing my new Zygu G90 HF transceiver. It's an SDR, software defined radio. And uh, just got it hooked up a couple days ago. And right now, I've got it on the um, 40 meter band. As you can see there, it's the frequency is 7.150. We've got a uh, conversation going on there at this time. This is hooked up to my Starduster M400 antenna, which is a 10 slash 11 meter antenna. So we're listening to 40 meters here, hooked up to a uh, 10 meter antenna. And as you can see by the display there, we've got a, a real solid signal on the station. I'm not sure where he's at yet. I just turned the radio on and tuned a little bit across the dial and there it was. So I'm going to turn this down here uh, a little bit here. I'll kind of leave it running in the background. About two nights ago is when I actually got it hooked up for the first time and I have a technician class amateur radio license. So as far as voice or as, as they call it phone operation goes I can only uh, transmit voice on the 10 meter band and so I did uh, try that two nights ago and picked up uh, two guys having a conversation let's see what frequency was that it was 28.345 upper side band and uh, came in and had a conversation with both of them and uh, one guy was uh, had just as strong a signal as what you see there in, in this conversation. The other guy was a little bit weaker, but he was a little bit further away. But I'm really impressed so far with this radio. Uh, as you can see, like I said, this is on a vertical 10 meter antenna. And on 40 meters, you know, I'm picking up stations very well. One of the things I really love about this radio is the display, the waterfall display because it's so easy to find stations uh, with this display because you can see the spikes there going along the bottom you know it tells you where there's a conversation going on so you can tune on over there and uh, listen in or join in on a conversation now I have this set on as far as attenuation I have it set on the lowest setting if I push the attenuation button here you see how the signal increased and then there's an even higher it's off the scale but the, the signal is already so solid that it doesn't really have any effect on it but uh, I also want to show you this is the microphone and every button or knob that is on the face of this radio is also on the microphone which is really nice so I can sit here and Tune up and down. And it lights up too whenever you use it, which is nice if you're working in a, a dark environment, but you see it faded out there. And the green button there means that the radio is on. Uh, there is uh, firmware updates. This is a software defined radio, so. Uh, Zygu periodically gives new updates. Let's see, we got another signal over here. I'm seeing. Let's see if we can tune over here. Oh, we got a couple of them going there. It looks like. Yeah. Let's go back over this way again. Yeah, 
This guy is having a steady conversation, so we'll leave it there. By pushing this multifunction button here, it will highlight the digits there on the frequency display. So that's how you set how fine a tuning you want to do. Oh, but as I was telling you, um, I was hoping that since I just bought the radio would have the, the latest firmware update, which is 1.73, and it does indeed have that. So I was pleased to see that. Also, you'll notice, let's pan out here a little bit. I have this on the mount. If you saw my previous video, the unboxing of this, you saw where I bought a bundle which included this stand which has a built-in cooling fan on the bottom there and also uh, an accessory, a CE19 accessory port which I don't have connected on here yet. So let's zoom back in here. So let's see, on top of the radio here we've got your band So you can go through the different bands. And there's 10 meters. Let's see what, what this is here. Apparently that's not voice. Now I've gone down to the uh, AM broadcast band here now. Okay, we're here on the AM broadcast band. I just wanted to show you because this really kind of shows off the waterfall display there. Each one of those peaks is a different AM station. So we're on 1320 there. 1290. Again, this is on the 10 meter antenna. But I'm basically picking up a station on almost every frequency. Also, um, I'm going to tune back here again now to the uh, 40 meter band. Because I want to show you the tuning on this. You have a tune button up here. And when you when it's engaged you get a little icon right up here but to actually tune it you hold that button in okay so there it tuned up for 40 meters again the station coming in very strongly <clears throat> then down below that there's a power button over here and when I press that it says power 20 watts which this is a 20 watt radio that's the max you can uh, tune it one watt at a time all the way down to one watt and it's all the way up to 20 watts it allows you to program your call sign into uh, the startup menu which I've done. Again, I have a technician class license, so I can't transmit on this band or else I would to show you. So, but I'm going to work on my getting my general license here as quickly as I can so I can take advantage of this. Also, I just ordered a dipole antenna which should be here. This is uh, Sunday night. I'm doing this video. It's supposed to be here Tuesday. So in the next couple days here, I'll be putting up that dipole antenna, and that should give me an even better idea of how well this radio receives and transmits. But uh, of course, all my transmitting will have to be um, on 10 meters. So I don't know that the dipole will help me there, but as far as reception on these other bands, I think it should make uh, quite a difference. Let me zoom in here a little bit on, more on the display. There we go. 
Of course, it's a very small screen. Uh, I think it's like about two inches maybe at the most square. You see in the upper right hand corner, it gives you the, uh, the voltage going into the radio. Over on the left side, you see it says it's lower sideband. And of course you have your S meter running across the middle there, right above the waterfall display. It's also giving you a constant readout over here on the uh, signal strength. So even though it is a small screen, it's, uh, it's very easy to read. The, the radio is easy to navigate. Uh, I went through the manual pretty thoroughly and I didn't see anything there that uh, left me with any questions about how the radio operates. So far so good. As I say, once I get my dipole antenna up, I'll be able to give you a, a better report on what this radio will do. But right now I'm very pleased. As you can see, everything's working perfectly. So this is Buzz, episode number 17 of Airways, where I'm reviewing my new Zygu G90 HF transceiver. It's an SDR radio. And uh, as I say, once I get the dipole up, I'll probably do a, an update on this radio a little further on. So stick around. I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. Like and share this video. And I'll see you down the dial.